house was actually created or, or built, started to be built in the late 1800s and completed about 1903. It is the only farmhouse in the city of North Glen and it is made of brick, so it's, it is actually on its permanent and only foundation it's ever had. So this is a, actually a Queen Anne style, which is uh, pretty typical of the 1900s. The hallmarks of the Queen Anne style would be the wraparound porch, um, the soffits, the, the soft brick, and just the elegant style that they had in those days. The interior of the farmhouse is pretty unique. We have actually closets in this house which um, typically farmhouses did not have. Just because they taxed every room in the house and, and closets in those days were actually considered rooms and so that's why they did not have closets. You would see armors in there. In this particular house we have a living room, a dining room, the kitchen that we're in. The electricity came in in the late 1920s, early 30s. The house did not have bathrooms. What they had were outhouses in the time. And there are five bedrooms in this house. The community has just come together and has donated uh, fixtures that are hanging from the ceiling, the beds, uh, furnishings, clothing, all types of things. We have installed a barn, and in, inside the barn we have a thrasher, a 1939 fire truck. Uh, we've got Carl's Dairy's um, milk wagon in there. The most unique piece in the house is an 1877 grand piano that w has been uh, donated to us by a family that lived in North Glen. And uh, we utilize it in all of our events, but always at the old fashioned Christmas, the first um, weekend of December. And uh, we have it open for two days and sell different items, and, you know, and it's kind of a fundraiser. We have had um, weddings here, and uh, you know, it just depends on who reaches out to us. So we're hoping at some time to actually build a barn in the, uh, on the property and actually open it up for venues, you know, where people can actually rent it. As a whole, the Historic Commission uh, values the assets and the history of the city. And so this was something before the city was even established in 1969. It's here um, and it, it's loved. I mean, and we're willing to, and the city is willing to open it up for people to come in, tour, and enjoy.